Ryan's entirely wrong Kicked a hole in the game before multiple views by Tommy gone Gotta be strong when you're popping the paparazzi phone Sliders singing in your local precinct like You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP and everybody that's in the notification gang, 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 gang. There's a couple of things I need to talk about. I'm actually leaving town. I'll be in Atlanta until uh, later on in the weekend, like Sunday-ish, you know what I'm saying? So if you're down there, you know me, you holla at me. I'm on the gram, sh like that, make it happen. I, uh, I got some things going on, and I'm going to be outside. But, uh, you know, there's a couple things going on in Battle Rap. I seen Loaded Lux and Rum Nitty going back and forth. I seen the traffic car. I seen Shotgun Suge and Easy to Block Captain going back and forth. I'm going to put... Everything, I'm gonna break down every round that I've sketched about. And we're gonna all put it in here, you know what I'm saying? And um, I I'll leave it where it may be, you know what I'm saying? In order to make it fair, I'm gonna leave it here. Um, So starting off, you know what I'm saying? I did see, uh, we'll start with Loaded Lux. Shout out to Loaded Lux and everything that he's got going on. And Averb is gonna be on my expert opinion. I think <laughs> Averb or my expert opinion is probably the most diabolical Diabolical, maniacal, uh, sketchy, scheme-worthy, uh, travesty event that's about to go on. This is an extinction-level event. These guys are going to go crazy. They're going to be talking about all kinds of shit. They're going to be breaking it down. They're going to be talking about the hate, the demons, the this, the that, the third. I know Map Hop is going to chop this shit into 85 different little episodes. But shout out to... Hey, Verb, you know what I'm saying? Verb, 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 Verb. You're always starting some shit, first of all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, back at it. So, um, I did see Rum Nitty and, uh, and, and Loaded Lux, man. Loaded Lux, he normally is not, like, of a huge, like, social media presence, but the traffic card was released. Uh, URL Traffic 6. It's been met with mixed reaction. I ain't gonna hold you. In order to keep it a buck, I gotta be honest. Um, I'll go through the card and talk to you about some of the battles on there in a second, and I'm sure me and SP will probably do, excuse me, a more in-depth um, breakdown of the event when uh, the time comes. So, Loaded Lux says, they done gave this man, Rum Nitty, a 720 deal. You better get with Tiff Lux or maybe, or something, man, and fast. Call the Lux Agency and start doing some straightening. This is nasty work. And it comes in correspondence to Rum Nitty having a battle with Kid Slade. So the card uh, for traffic is Gishi Gotti versus Jada Nightwing. Rum versus Kid Slade. Danny Myers versus She Happens. Real Name Brandon versus Holmesy the God. Hansel versus Shotgun Shook. JC versus Authentic. And it's going down in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, Rum Nitty not being the main event in Arizona is a little different. Uh, especially when the the names that are on the card per se, like Agichi and Jada Nightwing, Rum and Kid Slade, could kind of be like a one A one B. So I would have thought that giving Rum Nitty that top line in Arizona would have probably been a priority. But at the same time, Kid Slade is where he's at. He just had a battle versus Cortez. I did see it. I thought his third round was kind of cool. Uh, I see you all. They're trying to brand. They're trying to market. They're trying to build around him now. You know what I'm saying? And the same thing is with a lot of these other guys that's on this card. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of newer names on here. It'll definitely be good to see Real Name Brandon back. Real Name Brandon, I think he won He won a tournament, and i never seen this nigga since. I don't even know. I, 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 don't, I can't even recall. How, like, he wasn't put in rotation, basically. He won. The Ultimate Madness was on the Summer Madness, and I ain't seen that nigga since that Summer Madness, to be honest with you. He probably had a couple battles here and there, but I ain't got nothing noteworthy, you know what I'm saying? I think he, he battled twerking like a one round or some shit like that, to smack white out you, but twerk like forgot his round or some shit like that. That was back then, so I, this is how long ago I haven't seen him, you know what I'm saying? Um, So... You got JC versus Authentic. I seen Authentic versus Jack. Well, I seen a couple of his battles. He's, he, he he get busy and shit like that. One of the newer guys versus JC. Uh, I'm not doing predictions. I'm just talking about the card right now. Uh, Hansel versus Shotgun Shug. Uh, Real Name Brandon versus Holmesy the God. Danny Myers versus Sheet Happens. Rum Nitty versus Kid Slade. Geechee Gotti versus Jaden Nightwing. I think Geechee Gotti versus Jaden Nightwing can definitely be 
a pretty dope battle because Jaden Nightwing gets crazy and he don't battle that often. And that shit that he was saying in that last battle that he had versus Mad Flex was kind of crazy. Gigi Gotti been on the run. I think it could be good. Overall, the card is cool. It's an app only event. So that tells you, like, you could tell, like, when a card is like, they think it's that shit, this is how y'all could do it. This is, I'm going to tell y'all how you do it. When the, when the league thinks the card is going to be that shit, they pay-per-view in that motherfucker live streaming that bitch is going to be up. When they do like app only or you can VOD it or watch it the day after or you can see they they not really, it, it, it ain't, it ain't that. You know what I'm saying? If this was that, if we switched a couple names around here and slid Danny Myers up there versus Jaden Knight, I mean Danny Myers up there versus uh, Geechee Gotti, now you're cooking with grease, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you could switch, you could have swapped a couple, but who am I? I know what it is, you know what I'm saying? From what they probably doing is they're taking the names that they got, pushing the new guys and mix, mixing and matching them up and mashing them together. But we'll see how it goes, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, this car was met with a lot of mixed reaction. Loaded Lux is saying they done gave this new man Rum Diddy a 720 deal. You better get with Tiff Lux or something, my man, and fast. Call the Lux agency, do a little straightening. This is nasty work. And this all comes off the premise of Rum Diddy's last battle. He's battling against Foots, and one person got 30 minute rounds, and Rum Nitty got 90 second rounds. So, in Rum Nitty, if you know you're battling Kid Slay, you might want to, y'all might want to figure out them round times. Figure them out. You might want to tap in early. Have somebody reach out to somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. Because uh, when they say, like, oh, it was two different contracts, and this person booked that person, and that daughter got a guy contract, contract. The contracts came back, though. Even if you sent them out with the wrong times, they came back. So we're not reading them on the way out or reading them back on the way back in. Rum Nitty, you got lined up. You need to look at it, because niggas will tell you. They will tell you anything. Oh, it was just a little clerical error. Yeah, it was a clerical error on the way out, but they came back. What are we doing here? So, now nah, niggas is... Watch the DJ Envy. It's a Ponzi! It's a Ponzi! Romney, you better, you better watch your front and your back and your sides because they heard about you wanting to battle Lux in that fucking blue room and they about to shut that shit down. That's why they're giving niggas 10, 15 minute rounds to rap against your ass because they want to shut that shit down. Drop this nigga stock, get him back on the app. 30 app battles. We're gonna get a nigga 30. Fuck it. 30 battles. Um, so... Lux is talking his shit, but Lux don't battle enough. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, even when Lux talks his shit, he's not battling. So it's like... You saying what you're saying about me, but you ain't battling me. Or you ain't battling anybody in particular. So it kind of falls on deaf ears. We'd love to see it. Yes, I would love to see Nitty versus Lux. But with everybody not taking Nitty and niggas is doing all this extra shit, you know what I'm saying, tweeting, 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 he got to battle who's in front of him. He got kids, you know what I'm saying? He going to battle Foots. He going to get paid a great check. He going to turn around, make another great check the next month. He'll take one of these niggas every month. Uh... As far as the battle goes, I think it's a cool battle. I mean, I, you know, we'll see what Kid Slade does against him. We all know the allegations and the shit that's going to be thrown his way. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Um, back to, like I was saying, Math Hoffa will be on my expert opinion. I do think that that is going to be some of the most maniacal shit that I've ever seen in my life. I don't know how they were able to put this together. But it's one of them things that we will see. Um... I seen easy to block captain and shotgun sugar going back and forth, and this in correspondence to the same card. Uh, you had shotgun sugar, who's on the card. He's battling against Hansel, newer MC, who's just had a battle. You know what I'm saying? He's had a bunch of battles this year, but he's battling against him. And uh, shotgun sugar is he's basically on the bottom of the card. You know what I'm saying? And I'll read some of the tweets that was going back and forth between Easy and Shotgun Suge. Um, so Easy starts out. He says. I know that's not Shotgun Suge at the bottom of the card. Please tell me that's not the, with the E, with the E, like make the stallion, you know, bottom of the fly. Uh, I know that's not Suge on the bottom of the card, saying that Suge talks so much, and he's now on the bottom of the card battling against a new nigga. Now, sometimes when people's names be on the bottom of the card, it's not necessarily because of them. It's necessarily because of who they battling against, you know what I'm saying? Because... If you're battling the wrong person, you're not gonna be on. You're gonna be on the bottom of the card. But if Shotgun Shug was battling, let's say Rum Nitty, even though they already battled, that wouldn't be at the bottom of the card. That probably would actually headline this event. That would probably be oh, mm, depends. But you see what I'm saying. So uh, Shotgun Shug responds and said, "I'd rather be at the bottom of the card than never mind, bro. You a goofy. 
How about I battle the whole card already and at least I can battle without a lawyer. You gotta chill. I'm booked till the summer getting money, no hassle. You need a strategy to come outside, laugh my A off, your name hold no muscle sign. Your name hold no weight. And uh, this is in correspondence to Easy, obviously Easy's battling on Chrome 23, doing what he's doing, all of the rumors and shit that be going on over there. You know, they had the NDAs, they had the fucking uh, Pat Poos rumor, you got uh, all this shit going on over there. That's beyond, like, not really actual battles and battle rap. I, I'm not here to say who nobody's with, who they not with, I don't know. Have I heard? Yeah, I heard. I heard they together. I'm not going to act oblivious. I heard that. But who am I? I don't know. I don't ask questions. I talk about the raps. I talk about the battles. So uh, Shotgun Shook says... Um, you know, he said you need a you need all of this shit just to come outside. So then, uh, Easy responds, bottom of the card ball, relax. Shotgun Sugar responds, bottom of the floor ball, basically it's referring to you know the aforementioned situation. He says, uh, that's why you are where you're at now. You believe anything, and don't forget that I offer you more than what you're getting paid now, and I can bet that. And then Sugar responds. Yo, bro, I will never battle for pennies you offered. You need to hire Jacoby and Myers with that little change. Be clear. You put makeup on to cover last time the war just to lie. Last time I checked, you couldn't even talk this much without a permission slip. He's got shotgun show going in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the shotgun show went even further. The ball need Johnny Cochran and the baby security to book a battle. Leave me alone. Please, or come back to the most respected, and maybe you can make some money. And he says, I promise I made more money than all of y'all over there. I promise. You know what I'm saying? And I did say that, you know, when Easy comes back outside and he gets back into these back and forth with people, they will bring up the fact that, you know, the lawyers be involved and he got security and shit like that. And I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? Because once you reach a certain level of status, you may need that, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you need to feel to make your home comfortably at night, it is what it is. I'm not knocking that because some people might have needed it or needed them with them, didn't have them, and something happened to them. You know what I'm saying? But in battle rap, battle rap events, it usually be a lot of battle rap shit. I wouldn't do it personally, but I'm not in his position, and I don't know what he's got going on. But Shotgun Shook did definitely use that to attack him. You know what I'm saying? He's saying that, you know, you need Johnny Cochran and the baby security. The baby security, that big ass one, that one nigga, man, um, Kane, Kane. These niggas like a fucking, look like a wrestler and shit. Um... He said that maybe you can. And he said you can make some money. Uh, I would like to see Shotgun Shug versus Easy. They're probably already booked. Like you know how this shit be going. They pro I would not be surprised if Shug and Easy is battling on the next Chrome car. I've been around this battle rap shit for way too long. I see too many of these situations come up, and they'll be going back and forth on Twitter. Next thing you know, they booked the battle. So, man, who knows? If they're battling, we can refer back to this video, and we wouldn't be surprised. You know what I'm saying? I would not be surprised because. Back and forth, you know what I'm saying? You see what's going on. Um, I've seen, uh, like I said, I've seen Norb's case continue to, to, to make his rounds and things like that. Uh, I do see him, I did see more, you know, more papers and shit came out yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Or more different documents where they're talking about they urging them to take a, you know, a fucking settlement conference and all this other shit. I didn't grab all of the documents to put it in this because um, my thing is this. At the end of the day, what... Norbs brought to battle rap cannot be replaced. All of the artists, all of the stars, all of the places that he went, all of the work that he did, that shit can't be replaced. They still ain't replaced them niggas, you know what I'm saying? There's a couple stars here and there, but they ain't replaced that whole wave that came with the initial. No, it's not been replaced and it probably never will be. Because all of them together, you know what I'm saying, had a different, had a different role, a different part. And when Norbs got kicked out the whip, I don't understand why they didn't give him nothing or didn't offer him anything. Norbs know where the bodies is hit. Why? How do you do the nigga dirty that knows where the bodies is hit? He knows where the bodies are. He knows the secrets, the trade. He know everything about the company. So to not pay him or, or, or get him right on the way out was oblivious. So um, if you ask me, is he going to get paid? Absolutely, he's going to get paid. I don't know how much, but do I think so? Yes, because he can prove the work that he did. He can prove more than he did. Then them niggas could prove that they did for him. I mean, that they did. As far as like working and putting together battles and finding people and all of that, his work can be proven. That's all I'm saying. Um, all right, so you, uh, like I said, um, in the beginning of this joint, Traffic Six, and cars been put together. It's good to see Danny Myers back out there. He's got a battle with Sheet Happens. Both are pretty dope MCs. You know what I'm saying? We'll see where that one can go. 
Um, but getting Jada Nightwing back involved in like the rotation, he does great trailers. Um, he's a dope MC. To see him back headlining a card is dope. Do I think he's going to beat Geechee Gotti? Absolutely not. Um, but I think it'll still be a good battle. See, the thing about Jada Nightwing, unique style, dope flow, a lot of aggression, different pockets of flows, has that humbling. You're a make believer. I heard he was in college, he was a great receiver. Then you sold hair. I'd hate to weave you. Then I grip this thing off my hip and bow down to make believe. Like he got that, he got that build up to his shit, you know what I'm saying? And I think that that's very impressive when he's able to do that. But the thing is, he's got to be able to, uh, to keep it consistent. He chokes a lot. Jay Nightwing stumbles a lot in battle, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, when you, I be waiting for him, he'll stumble, he'll choke, he'll, he'll, he'll get, he got to get through his shit, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, um, he, he's definitely got to gotta step it up if he's going to be doing that. Um, I was looking for Swervo on this car. Swervo is really nice, man. Y'all got to see Swervo. 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 That is one of the names I'm putting out there. He got crazy with chess. If y'all don't know, I know, I know, I know. I know people that know people that know. He got crazy with chess. Y'all might, y'all don't have to see that shit. You are going to have to see what the fuck he got, got going crazy versus that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, um... Yeah, let them drop that. Get that one out. Get that one out. Y'all dropping all the shits that we don't like. The battles is dropping on the app. What the fuck is going on? Can we get Ryder versus goddamn uh, this nigga? Uh, Ryder versus uh, Brandon Montana so we can see the third round. Can we get Jack Boy Main versus Tay Rock? Y'all niggas be knowing what the fuck y'all be doing. Y'all drop. Can we get Swerve on versus Chess? Y'all be dropping all the shit that, that nobody don't really be giving a fuck about and holding the fight. Can we get some heat in here? Can we get some heat in here? I want some heat. I, I I heard that uh old red battle stumbles yesterday. I didn't even watch it. They said it's either one or two possible outcomes. Either stumble, stumble, or old red lost his voice. Y'all niggas could guess which one. And this is the exact fucking tweet that I got. So I don't even have to watch it because I'm I was told one of the two possible outcomes is what it is. Either old red lost his voice or stumble, stumbled. <laughs> like I said, I got a flight to the A. So I might watch it on the way down, and I'll probably have an uh, answer to you guys as far as uh, what happened. Um, finally, well, like I said, we'll be back on Fox 5 and Y in a couple weeks. We got something special going down. I will be at Lehman College in the Bronx um, November 2nd. I'll be at Lehman College. There's a QR code. I'm going to be doing a TED Talk about hip-hop fashion and battle rap and media and shit like that. Shout out to my girl Nikki Knowledge for reaching out. Uh, I was at Delaware State University last week. I've got Moorhead and Spellhouse this weekend. Shout out to my brother DJ Bruckup. So I'll be at Morehouse and Spellman in Atlanta. And then next week I got uh, Lehman College in New York. I'm the college guy, you know what I'm saying? I'm at all the colleges and shit now. They want to see, they want to know, how, how did you do it? How did it happen? What did you do? You know what I'm saying? So I got to give niggas the sauce so they ain't lost, you know what I'm saying? And that's just what I've been doing. And shout out to everybody out there that watches this content, whether religiously or in past. And I definitely want to stop by and uh, get y'all, you know what I'm saying? Get y'all a little update on what's been going on out here. You know what I'm saying? Watch out for the Percy! Envy, they on your ass. You out of here, too. Uh, but other than that, salute to every single one of y'all. Uh, don't get a gun involved. Shout out to my brothers and my uh, my family over there at Fox. Um, but it is what it is. Gang, 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 and on bang. And shout out to my brother Showtime SP. I got things to do. So, you know, before we take off to the airport, I'll tell you about what I care for. We win, it's their loss. And I'm still here, boss. Gang, 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 and on bang. What the fuck going on?